Have you dipped in already? Uh, who it's, all it's is on? You know what? Oh, Shagan. Oh, Shagan. We have been O'Shaugan-ays? busy talking, not paying attention to the chat because we got know it was a o'clock. lot of stuff going on. For those of you that were in the Discord, what, five minutes ago? Yeah. I mean, uh, that was cool. For those of you that weren't, you're all missing out. <laughs> Let me see what's going on here. Who we got? Is that KB? He said Buna. <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah, there's Don't mind Buna. if we do. Yep. I Actually, just got done drinking Rosebank. Is he on? Who? Tom R. Tom? I haven't seen Tom R. I, I messaged him as soon as I had my first sip. Maybe Thirsty Thursday. I see there Moose 76. I see well, Bob H. Open. Good evening, buddy. Hey, Bob, that bottle of Solstice is scheduled to be delivered by Close of Business tomorrow. I'll uh, text you when I get it. When does Close of Business happen? I don't know, but you I'll know, probably be... <laughs> <laughs> my wife's flying right. out at 9 a.m., so I'm sure I'll be three sheets to the wind by Close of Business. <laughs> by noon? By 9.30? I don't know. <laughs> I'm um, good with all of that. Man. Yeah, right on. Uh, let's see who all's on here. I'm oh, trying yeah. to. We got a few people on there, man. Travis Faircloth, what happened today, buddy? I right. saw you open hey, Bob, something. What did you open today? Oh Travis yeah, I saw Faircloth. that too. Who? It looked good, man. Yeah. Is it really what? It, when, what is when's it, yours what, get here? Mike got yeah. here today, brother. You want to see some pictures of it? What no, did you, get? you, you were at. <laughs> What'd you get? Yeah, really? Not, yeah. you're, not, you're not gonna bring it over here and let us try it. <laughs> What'd you get? You know who's getting the first pour out of that? He won't even say. Me and my Your wife. wife. <laughs> What'd you get? I'll show you. Must be Middleton. I'll no, show you. Glendronic. No, it's nice. single cast, 26 years old. Hey guys, is the mic okay? It seemed a little low on me on my mic here or my ears. So is the let mic me know. Low. I think it's okay. Hey, here is, is that dark enough for you? Holy shit, it's like coffee. Is that coffee? Yeah. <laughs> that's it is nice. coffee. Uh, I mean, even when the neck I'm not going to believe it until I see it in my glass. <laughs> when the neck is yeah. that dark even, not I think it's the just the lighting. Yeah. I think he's just messing with us. That's with the sun coming through. Oh, shit. Wow. Like sweet tea. Did you wait for the perfect photo op? That's like no. sun tea. I was excited. Did you just so wander around the house taking pictures of it? I was a little weak-needed. It's like yes. scotch like porn. Like I, it was scotch like porn. <laughs> it was. Like but uh, awesome bottle. Very excited about opening that sometime. Um, Actually, who else we got? Is on, so when you get a chance, I will. I'll, I'll I see Telex. Yeah, Mark's not going to listen to me though. I'm listening. What do you got? Go ahead, finish. I'm just calling out names. Okay. Okay. All right, you want to talk about KB? Think, well, I don't. I don't know if uh, KB saw what I sent him. That I wanted to thank him again for oh. that bottle of Ball Blair ninety. <laughs> Sent out a bunch of samples to some friends, mm-hmm. and it's almost gone. So I wanted to say thank you again. That uh, I had the opportunity for that, so thank I you, KB. Thought it was awesome. I mean, it's all you ever talk about. <laughs> yeah. but, I mean, it was cool Twitter, to see the pictures yeah. of you putting and samples Instagram. together and, and sharing put, it out. And put, give, mm-hmm. I sent about five samples out to some friends, so. which is fun. Which is I cool. Mean, yeah, that's we like, we all we all share. say that's what it's it's not that's whiskey about it. shared. So, we got some stuff on the counter right now. I wasn't sure if he saw my other Instagram, so thank you again, KB. I appreciate it. It was fantastic. Man, that's great. So that's it? okay. Go what, ahead. that boonie? Yeah. It is. See, actually, Sean mentioned that we uh, we just right. got something today. What? what? Uh, random uh, package in the mail, which I love. <laughs> I love random packages in the mail. Uh, so <laughs> I, I get a package. They bring it to me. And, uh, of course, I bust it open because I'm like, I bet that's scotch. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Right? So, so we got some Beer bottles oil. of uh, Talisker 8-year 2018 special release. Bottled at 59.4 wow. ABV. 
It's going to be good. Uh, this is from who? Sandeep? Nice and high. Sandeep yeah. uh, in Texas. I, I think in Texas, yeah. Yeah, yeah we, he was at the, he was at the test. Yeah, you guys, you two we actually met him. Met him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We, we had, uh, there were four bottles in the package, but we had a man down. I think the uh, cold weather didn't. <laughs> didn't, didn't survive. I, I don't know what the deal was, but anyway, we got three, and that's plenty for us to taste it. So, uh, looking forward Cindy, to it. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try it tonight. I don't know what you're we waiting on. We had a fun time with him no, and Kansas with, uh, with the them, Scotch test down first. first. Um, there was a lot of whiskey. Well, there was a lot of different whiskey shared that weekend. So let's talk. Read this. No, let's not talk Booney yet. I'm not ready. I'm still drinking some of that old Perth. <laughs> Is that what you're drinking? Someone's got to drink it. Damn. All right. I thought we were going to do a review on that. I had Rosebank, and it and was excellent. Y'all will think that just because you can drink a lot, you can get the Scotch Whore title. <laughs> you got to drink it all. <laughs> Man. All right, let's say some, some call-outs, guys. So uh, let me just scroll back up here. Wow. Nuts. Um, who we got on line tonight? Let's, let us know in the chat what you're drinking. Uh, we got Bob H. We got yeah, Mark what is Goins. Uh, Moose, good to see you, sir. Uh, KB, of course, Nocturnal, good to see you, sir. Bob H. again, Eric Waite. I was Everyone. just going to ask if Eric was on. Eric yep. is on, yep, everyone's right. on. Brad Murphy, Steve A., Mr. Discord, uh, Kenneth Kennedy. Did you try this one? Kennelly is on. Uh, Andrew oh, is on. It. Travis, of course. Oh, I think you'll like this Different Andrew. Oh, Thomas yeah. Sawyer, From what good name, Andrew. see you, sir. <clears throat> and our indie buddy, Michael right. Porter, is on. Yeah, he's, I see him. He cracked open one of that, that uh, Glenn Talker's. Yep. That vine and table went talkers. <laughs> That's a good bottle, well, I was like, too, man. Dang it, I didn't get one of those. I, I will say, they picked some good barrels for this year. He's in yeah. our Discord now. He's been talking about all kinds of good sketch lately he's getting on. So he I see Scott. Tom What's going R. on, Scott? Oh, yeah. Hey, Tom's there now? Tom is on. All right. Hey, Tom. Tom, thanks for the old party. Tom. Tom. Lana thank- Lou is on. Hey, Lana. Tom, you need to try some Everybody rosemary. Everybody say hi to Lee. Hi, Lee. Hi, Lee. Hi, Lee. Hi, Scott's Lee. on the bayou, man. Yeah. yeah. I saw her way up top. So guys, um, I am drinking old Perth. Let's let's, um, let's talk about a few things. No, we've got, old Par. We've got old some par. Scotch and news tonight. Par, we've got uh, a new a new section the towards the end called "Ask the Dummies." That's coming up. We got some questions. Awesome. To is it math? Is math is hard? <laughs> um, we're going to be drinking some good stuff here. We're going to talk about the review, which we can do right now. Way ahead of you. So, what are we, what are we talking about? What's uh, what's the consensus uh, on this thing? On what? The Bunahaven. The Bunahaven. It's fair to Midland. <laughs> I'm, buying a bottle. Hey, four? Bob H., no, I'm grabbing a bottle a from that site that you right. found. I, uh, three. I think Drew and I are going to go in on a couple you, bottles to bring the shipping out. Yeah. I'm getting a bottle. I, I need a bottle. That price you found it, I cannot get it. So, uh, just to throw Bob a, a good shout out, man, the guy finds deals on, on websites that you never even heard of. I mean, he's like, hey, there's a great price on this bottle. And you go look and you're like, Where'd you find this website? Is this legit? They just got the internet oh, like two days thank ago. You, thank you, thank you, thank you, <laughs> Rob. Cheers, Rob. We'll have man, Cheers. Rob, are you coming to the dinner? Oh, yeah. Come on, man. man. Come on, How about man. this? Man. Are you going to meet us at Whiskey Fest? Chicago. Chicago. It's Whiskey like right Fest. next door to Toronto, isn't it? What's the dates on that? March, March 29th. March 29th. Benny's. Thursday night. The night before Whiskey <laughs> Fest on Friday night. We're going to be there. All four. So if you're in Chicago... Come on. I think you can make that happen, Rob. You can sleep on the floor in our room, Scott man. Scott for dummies. You, you just get you there. You make it the sixth. Call in sick. They're not going to miss you. No. <laughs> I'm sure it's... Just watch Ferris Bueller's Day Off a couple times. You'll figure out a way to make I'm it. I'm sure it's sick. spring break or something that time. <laughs> right. So that's how their family is. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a kiss with daddy? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. So... Yeah, honestly, back to the boonie. Um, there was a four. Four, a three, a and three, five. five. I, I had did not, I need to have a glass tonight, because for me, it was an overwhelming chocolate. I knew it was a good scotch, but it wasn't hitting it's my dark chocolate. Yeah. I'm liking it. Do you have it right now? Yeah. yeah I'm gonna so uh, a few, this. a lot of comments, too. But a few of them that I noticed were the same theme, and that was, you guys should have tried the old Older version. 18. Yeah. And so then it brings me. We can't try them all. It makes me think. There's been a, a, a meme going around on Facebook that has to do with the Highland Park. Yep. Have you seen it with the two yep. uh, orange chopper guys? Oh yeah, <laughs> it's the same chief. <laughs> you, I've been yeah. drinking scotch longer than you've been alive. <laughs> I think I've seen. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 It's on. Awesome. You know, I, Mike there. Porter put it up. Yeah, Michael. I, I was I was at a uh, whiskey bar the other night and I saw some guy looking at a uh, the. 
Boone Hub, Hub and 18, the old black label. I'm like, should I, should I get a Did drum? you get a... I didn't get a drum. Ah, I should have. I didn't think about it at the time. But yeah. You thought yeah. about it long yeah. enough to What'd you get instead? Why, what? What'd you get instead? I Double had pinch. I had the <laughs> classical the Lottie <laughs> sixteen. I've been supernova. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. supernova. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, okay. that's legit, man. Yeah. Uh, I'll let He's that like, slide. I got a double Johnny Walker Black. You got to find a Johnny Walker Red. It was a two oh. finger pour. <laughs> <laughs> you got a big pour, Johnny Walker. They used well, a water glass. <laughs> <laughs> so you at least had a couple decent grams. Oh yeah, so it, it, there's cool because there's this whiskey bar in, in Chapel Hill, Carolina, uh, Cronkleton, the Cronkleton, and let's get crunked. Let's get crunked. Crunk. And they, Crunchies. it's according to the locals, and, and I was talking to several people at the bar. It's like the best whiskey bar in the region. So this is down in Research Triangle Park. You know, got sure. Raleigh and Durham and Chapel Hill are all right there, and they say this is the best whiskey bar in, in the area. So even including the other cities. And they just had a great selection. They had two huge bookcases, like, well, essentially, with this bar from bar all the way to ceiling, with a high ceiling of just scotch. And then they had, you know, bourbons and Japanese and world whiskeys, and I mean, they had everything on there. So, so they know who you were? Uh, well, did you roll guy, up in the guy, there and the, tell them to recognize? Did you, did you wear your hat? I did not, but the guy sitting next to me, I, I gave him a card. It's like, you guys are YouTube channels? Yeah, yeah. I like watch you guys. So, so then we, we should have Should have handed, like, five of them to the bartender. The bartenders weren't too interested, oddly enough. They didn't really care. Mm. Like, I don't care who you are. They've got their own channel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can, you can tip or <laughs> exactly. You can tip or not. So, but the, but the whiskey, the guy, so the cool thing was, you, I go, went in and I asked the no, guy, not? okay, I'm looking for a scotch <laughs> and this is what nice. I want. And so the, the, uh. the bartender that was really into scotch, he asked, so what, you know, are you wanting, so I, I didn't, I didn't want to go with Pete yet. I wanted to start with kind of a, a dry, middle of the road, heavy, meaty scotch. Mm -hmm. He brought me. Um, Everything that wasn't that. No, he he he, he hit it. He got, oh, really? he got the Glenmorangia Star, which is one of my favorite. Oh. He got the um, uh, Glenmorangia Single Batch, think her 18 Single Batch, or, or Small Batch Reserve. I mean, he hit well, the I mean, perfect yeah. whiskeys for what I asked. He knew exactly what he's doing. And then I said, do you have anything a little more unique? Because I had already had those. That's when he got down to the Alati 16, which is something I hadn't had. It was bottled in 2013. And... Um, because North Carolina is a controlled state, oh. when you buy whiskey, you can all, the bars can only get what the liquor board will allow to come into the entire Sounds state. Sounds like Canada. <laughs> so what, what they do is that when, they get a, when they get the opportunity to get a unique bottle, they buy a, like two cases of it to make it last for a long time because you're not going to get Just it. Just because they get their opportunity. Mm -hmm. yeah. They get their opportunity to do it. So this was a bottle oh. that was... Um, they bought it in 2013, but they just opened it in like October. So it wasn't like really old. Huh? So that was, that was pretty cool. I, that was a good place to go. And then then uh, we, the guy um, I was talking to, and um, I split the end of the supernova. <laughs> so nice. Did you just nice. pass it back and forth. <laughs> just drink it. Well, that's funny because we, 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 we just did half pours because it, it's more it's more affordable <laughs> and it's it's enough whiskey. But the, the bartender like yeah, had, had poured the pours and said, "Here, you guys just finish it." I mean, there wasn't enough for another pour left, so that was kind of nice. Heck yeah. yeah! I had a great time. Good time. His e ego, I'm surprised that hat even fits like that. Huh? What? Man, I got a little head. It's a little bitty bitty, but it's a big brain. Big brain I'm and a little head. About, <laughs> That's what I'm talking, talking about. about your hat. <laughs> I know. Oh, okay. All right, what else we got on our agenda? <laughs> Negative Ghost Rider. The pattern is. Cool. We got a bunch of stuff coming. I know we do. do. We want to so talk about that. I, actually, let's do that. Let's let's run it down. So we talked a little bit about Chicago and Whiskey Fest. Rob, yep. we really do expect to see you there. But anybody, but anybody else, else <laughs> we're gonna be there. Um, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna make the most of it. I, Tom R's gonna make be there. Tom, we're coming. We're coming to your place. We're gonna have to pry <laughs> the computer. Can, can we can we raid Tom R's bar? <laughs> Just chip down the WoW server for the day. Maybe get him. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to definitely do that. But. Um, Definitely looking forward to seeing some folks there. We actually need to work some logistics on our end because we may be doing something a little special with uh, with Steph Ridgeway. So um, we'll get back to everybody on that. But then let's talk about something that's in route from Scotland right now that you put in order. Yeah, this is exciting. Very, so very I've exciting. got uh, samples oh. of two casks coming from Ball Blair. And uh, they will be there. It's an 05 and an 06 cask. You got to say um, so we're getting samples. We're gonna we're gonna try them out. If they get here in time, and I hope that they are, 
We will try them on next week's show. We're going to sample them right here. Oh. Uh, so we're going to talk about them live so you guys can see what's going on. Uh, maybe they're okay. Maybe they're not. Uh, we might want to do something different. Uh, if we do, no harm, no foul. We'll just order some other samples. Uh, but I'm hopeful that we like one of these two. Um, seems like it would be a good thing. If we do like one of those and we give them the, the high sign, it's four to six months uh, from high sign to bottles being delivered here. Um, so we're looking at what, July, maybe somewhere in that mid-year range for us to actually get these bottles in. Um, it'll be roughly 200 bottles, 220. It's a, it's a bourbon cask worth. Uh, so, you know, we'll, we we'll figure out. logistics to figure we out. We are going to do pre-sales. Do we got price point uh, Approximate price uh, point? It'll be like a little over 100 bucks. We're trying to keep it in that ballpark. $100 yeah. bottle, okay. It um, depends on the cask. It depends on how many bottles they actually get out of the cask. How much it costs so, us to do all the other things we can yeah, do. Yeah, all, so, all the logistics and the taxes and the middleman and the shipping and distribute, you know, all that. But we're probably looking at, you know, about $110. Uh, in addition to the bottle, though, uh, we get the actual cask right. that this, this liquid was in. Uh, so I think we're going to take the actual cask that your bottles were in we're going to break it down, we're going to cut the staves into bottle hangers, and we're going to make special bottle hangers just for this cask. And so each bottle will have one of I mean, these bottle so hangers. I mean, that's so cool. That like, would be here, awesome. Here's a uh, bottle hanger yeah. from the cask that this whiskey was right. made. Right, from, 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 from that, it's so, it's so, it, so it, it'll likely cask. still smell like the bourbon yeah. because yeah. it'll be a fresh, fresh yeah. stave. Or we can make one big chair. <laughs> <laughs> we, we will probably have enough staves to do that. Yes, because I can get like 100 staves but, out of one... That's pretty cool. Today, so, so we're going to taste these two samples. Yes, what we might feel one is worthy. And if it is, I don't know if we still pull a trigger. Maybe we still want to explore there, a few There's a few more. other ones. I think we should wait a little bit. Uh, yeah, just, unless, unless it just right. blows us out. But let's talk about that. Sean and I talked about it. And we'll share it with you. I'd like to get your guys' input right here in the chat. You know, what's the standard? Where do we draw the line? I don't want to bottle a bottle, a cast, just to do it. No. it it's it's got to meet a standard, right? Is right. it a three? Is it a three five? What does it mean in your mind? What's this thing it's got to be? At least be? a three. So it has to be a three. So it's a hundred and ten dollar bottle. That is not in everybody's price well, range. No. So it's got to be really for, good. But for been, fifteen year old cast strength. Well, I think so that's that's, okay, that's right, what I'm saying. Because right. if you look at like your SMWS, your, your single cast name, their average price point is on cast strength whiskey is about ten dollars a year. So a twelve year old cask strength from SMWS is going to be a buck twenty. Okay. So if we come in at you know a twelve or a fourteen year old whiskey and it's under one hundred and twenty dollars, yeah. I I think that's fair value. Yeah, I will say uh, right well, assuming, assuming it's good. Bottlero six is mm-hmm. not available currently. Not, not available <laughs> in the United States. Right. Yeah. So at least do you free, yeah. do you hit that part? Do you hit that? Bud says one point. You know, a sample's coming. A sample's coming. You know, so right. we're so going to we'll try it. We're going to yeah. try it. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, I, I, I know you're a big fan of Bob Blair. Mm-hmm. I have not been yet. I like him, but not crazy. I'm So I'm looking forward to trying this out, but I'm sure. going to be very skeptical to give I mean, I, I think it has to be a three. Well, when, I, when you blind tasted us on that, what was it, Bob Blair? Yeah. Yeah. If you do it's that, I'm like, oh, it's like 200 I'll bring over the rest of my bottle of the 90 and a four and five so you can try them all. Well, we probably we probably should try because they're going to be in that five and six or was that the yeah. year? It was uh, yeah, it was bring, five and six. My point years. is, at the end of the day, this is, our, this is our first bottle going into this. I know we got right. ambitions to do yeah. more. Yeah, it better be damn good. Yes, it, 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 otherwise nobody will ever buy a bottle. From you us can't again. just stop at one. <laughs> you can't just stop at one distiller either. Even though no. I love everybody knows You've I love try Bob Blair. Some. You've got to you know get. Get what you but, can and try them all. Me, and you're just kind of, you've just been starting kind of scraping the barrel as far as, no pun intended, um, looking for scotch and different distillers. Well, but, there's lots of different options. No, it's not. Uh, we've been looking for a no. We've been looking, trying to find a way to do uh, it. Well, I mean, but time. recently is what I'm talking about. Yeah, the, this, the, the most recent opportunity has kind of just sprouted. And, and it's a decent opportunity. And honestly, yeah. it's worth exploring. And that's what we're yeah. doing. I think we can, I think we're going to find a cask that well, we're, Happy enough to bottle. Here, here's the thing. Can we... I can order samples of a couple of those other ones that I guarantee you will be absolutely phenomenal. 
But they are wholesale two hundred and fifty dollars a bottle yeah. and six hundred and sixty yeah. bottles in the cask. We can't do that. No, right? We are, we're we're not Ralphie. So we're not, we're not whiskey vault. Even if you were, the, the thing is, is when you're talking about a cask that produced two hundred bottles versus a cask that produces six hundred bottles, you're talking a difference of twenty thousand dollars for the cask or one hundred and forty thousand dollars for the cask. Oh. Yeah. What do you want to, you know, how much are you willing to risk, Andrew? <laughs> Not that much. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of money. So we're going to we're gonna start where we can. We're going to, hopefully, the goal is to put a good bottle out. Yeah. Well, the, the, that is the, the minimum. We're going to put out an outstanding bottle. We're not going to put out something just to put our name, slap our name on something and say, this is ours. It's got to be. Worthy. But keep in mind, quality costs money. You're right. So if you're sure. looking at sub $100 a bottle, you're not looking at a 3.0. <laughs> well, I, I, except I don't like Bubbler. I do like them. It just it didn't wow me. Mm. As, yeah. So far, I, had, I mean, it, was, it, was, it wasn't a three five on Bubbler. No, I didn't so give it a three. Steve Bob, Connor just put just opened an eighty three Bubbler last week, and I guarantee I know that that is a fantastic well dram. <laughs> I got a sample of that from Tom, and it is the eighty three. It eighty three. Hey, wow. Somewhere see, back there is the cell list, and there's one of them is a ninety six. So, and it yeah. looks it looks like it looks like your Glendronic. Bob, I mean the it's ridiculous. Op, they haven't committed to sending any releasing any casks to the in US. The, in the U.S. So, so we're still working on that as well. Yeah, we're knocking on the door still. We haven't given up on them. We actually have another avenue that we're yeah, trying. Yeah, we're, to we're working on a us. couple of. Uh, <laughs> We're gonna twist some arms and see what we can ha- make happen. But I really, I mean, some of this stuff is, you know, it's it's not their everyday market. You know, I yeah, one bottle. I mean, it's kind of a one-off right. deal. So one anyway, so we two could, samples from Ball Blair like, are that coming. One's maybe a and we'll be hopefully no reviewing way. or opening them and talking about them on next week's live. Yep, cool. Um, and maybe we love them. I don't know. We'll find out. Well, we're, that's the whole point. I mean, at the end of the day. All our sh- lives and all our re- all of our reviews we do are pretty much live. They are, so they are next live. week won't be any different from no, 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 too much. Nope. So, too much so we'll give it a shot and we'll see if we like too it. Much too much Bob Blair talking. Time Bob to Blair crack, talk, crack a Bob Blair open. I am. Uh, the O2. You want to try so, that or you want to discuss in the news? We, we could get into some of that this because one, we do need this to This one that. Lee and I know is very light. Honey, no kidding it is. Look at how light it is. Honey, sugar, floral. Hey, sugar. It's, it's actually something to What's on the right? agenda, buddy? Hey, sugar. Scott's on the bayou. Um, over to the, the slides. We can do some news, sure. All right. It's got some I, news time. Yeah. I wanted to see... Um, Just a little bit. Yeah. We did, we've got... You Just said you had some questions. That's that towards the end. Right. Or we can go but, you No, want. no, no. But we um, on the questions, uh, we were going to see about giving another, doing another giveaway. Last week... Um, we, well, two weeks ago, well, three weeks, we gave a sweater away. Then somebody won something on one of our coin uh, uh, descriptions. Last week, someone won a coin. That was Dylan Get to the Chopper. We had but a, Dylan we had gets a mess- the secret message in our description. If you scroll oh, down, I, I saw it. And I, he has I, emailed I us. Okay. Um, as, and so we need, and he didn't give us the address. So we got to email him back. I'll be asking for his address. Um, uh, mm-hmm. We're going to send him something. But what are we going to give away tonight? And I was thinking we could use our questions to do that. Well, how? So the questions. The so questions are for us. The questions are for yeah. us to answer based right. from from our viewers. So how do you want to? There's no giveaway related to that, is there? No. I'll give you a coin. You can make it. I can. The get, questions related to me. Someone guesses you do my that answer. Week? Oh. I can make the little card questionnaire cards. Is this a boardroom? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it, it feels be. like it, right? It Read them off. Like There's not enough drinking. That's yeah, let's let's go mean, to the news, guys, and I'll let you guys Scott go. Scott, to the news. Bam. There's a lot of news this ah. week. All right, Andrew, you want to kick us off? Scott, to the news. Diageo has revealed further plans for the revival of Port Ellen Distillery on Isla hey, as part of a public consultation today. Well, January 29th. It, Diageo revealed its intention to reopen Port Ellen in, okay, they were, and have it operational by 2020. So this is a picture of it, uh, what the, the artists have basically rendered what it's going to look like once they... Now, it's been pushed back to 2021. So you're looking at another two years before they fire up. Yep. So Wait, you're looking at... That. Was that... The, at they, least, at a minimum, five years before you get any juice flowing. And that's three-year-old... Yeah. Fire. Young. Fire. 60, 60 ABV, knock you in the nose. <laughs> Put an angle in it. That's all right. I'm good with that. So now it's going to be really interesting. I hope they have some great blenders because that 
It's gonna be interesting to see what they what can use that for. Right? I mean, because young nice Port, nobody knows what young Port Ellen tastes like. I don't know, but I'm excited as hell for it. <laughs> we'll give it a shot, man. I, I know what old Port Ellen tastes like. Right, <laughs> it's yeah, damn yeah. good. But this is a whole new place. New stills. Magical new sign. We're going to find out, everything. man. It's, right. yeah. We'll see. It may right. be cool. We don't know. Mike, you get the next it's a one ten, next, next It's a tenure. Year. I get next one. You got it. What's the next question? Scotch in the news. The green light has been given for work to start restoring the Rosebank distil- Distillery in... Falkirk. Falkirk. So, 25 years after first close. Yeah. And it's good. You said Rosebank. I did. So, yeah, you had yeah. And it was, tonight, it was right? great. Where'd that come from? Rosebank. <laughs> <laughs> How did you acquire it? How did it come to you? How did, he's Tom R is the man. Tom R is the man. All right. It, I got one of those secret handshakes, slip me a bottle kind of handshake things. It, it was awesome. For our friends in Europe. Are we moving on? Yeah. yeah. For our friends in Europe. Diageo's eight Game of Thrones single malts are set to arrive in Europe next month Woo-hoo! ahead of the show's final season. So those of us who were lucky enough in the United States to have that, we've gone through. We did a whole review. We did? Yep. We did yeah, them all. We, did them. One of them. we even did the White Walker. We even did them all. <laughs> but Europe's going to get them now, so Wait, did I miss any important things nah. on that? No. Nah, I, I was actually nah. sipping on that uh, Klein Leash last night. Where is it? It's all good. Yeah, it's real good. That's the, that's the one that's the highest ABV. Yeah, the highest ABV. I actually, we have not done a lot. I, I'm very interested because of all the Olorosa they've done. I want to get back into some of the Klein Leash and, and, and try some more of their... We have, I think we've done one review prior to that one, I think. The four Do you have any currently? Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. So we need to get some of that. I'll remember that. There you go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mark, you got it's about one? time. I um, maybe I do. I'm trying to pull it over my here. phone so I can. I know, but I don't want to read facing that no, way. No, so no, which no. one is it's, it? Is it the, that one? Yep. So, um, oh, this is. Sh- I, I know somebody that has yeah, one of those. Yeah. Pots. So this is an article I found online. Basically, with with Valentine's Day coming up, you know, uh, it's a five best uh, scotches to pair with chocolates. Which I honestly expected to kind of see this guy in there, but. Um, Anyway, the, I don't know if I agree with all those. I'm not saying I agree or not. I, this was what the article said, though. Say so really? the, the Arbor the yeah, I, 21 Parliament, not, I could see that. I, I can't see the, the Arbor Lord being, well, maybe because the chocolate had tamed down, down a little bit. I don't know. What? Does Lagavulin Distillers this Well, those, the, the Pedro, uh, the PX finish is going to go really well with that. Yeah, absolutely. I could see that. Hmm. And Even PX? Well, it's PX. Getting, you're getting, you add that sweetness to the to yeah, the cho- okay, bit I'll of chocolate. I'll give you that. I wish I had more hands um, so I could give this list four thumbs four down. Four thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. I would take four, one, two, three. I'd drink I'm not five saying, and six. That, I'm not saying I wouldn't drink them. I'm just saying I don't know if they pair well with chocolate. That Abelor yeah. will knock your socks off, dude. It's so strong. All right, well, the yeah. First of all, it gives me a headache. Every time I drink it, no matter how little I drink, it gives me a headache. I can drink everything on this bar except that one. Exactly, Steve. Really? They're, they're all going to do it. I bet I can pull out one that you Which is drink. what they're saying is going to pair good. Pair Glenn well going 21. Hey, <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You know what else it would go good with? It's probably that toothbrush and mm. scotch we were talking about earlier. That old pee? <laughs> oh, no, that Allardyce. Yeah. yeah. That's much better than that. What? We drank. Oh, it. you don't like it. Oh, the new one. We got a new one. Do you? Mm-hmm. Oh, did we? It's probably in the. In Hang the on a second. Somewhere. Drew's having a revelation here. Is it revelation? Ah. What do you? What do you? Uh, it's not as uh, chocolatey. It's I not think. as chocolatey. Really? Well, Charlie it's like Brown. A dark chocolate covered. Yes, it is. Dark red cherry. It takes me away. I'm liking this Bal Blair right now. There you go. I've had some good scotch tonight. Pretty good. All right, what's our next one? Next one. Next one, I, I... Five best independent whiskey bottlers you ought to know about. Ooh, that's a good list. Very I know good. about all of those. Gordon McPhail, Cadenhead, Signatory, Douglas Lang. Are they in any particular order? No. I don't know Douglas Lang. No. Oh, no. What's the last one there, guys? Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. Do we know anybody that drinks any of that? Yes, uh, we do. We do. We do. Yes, we do. That's some good stuff. Uh, yep. In that. fact, I usually finish off Thursdays with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pizza and Fairy Tales. That might be a good. When are you going to order right? from that again? That's mine. There go. <laughs> whenever, whenever you want. Actually, I just talked to Ben this week. Uh, yeah, when I call him, that's usually a good hour and a half conversation. Um, there's a lot of good outturns coming in, guys. Uh, so if you're not a member, 
Might right. want to think it's, about it. It might be time or find somebody who is because there's going to be some really good Make releases. friends. I might have to talk to you. It's going to be some good releases We did a signatory out. a long time ago, too. There's a lot of good... The, the we've had a couple had good some really good yeah. stuff. Yeah. 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 We've had a couple good Gordon McPhail. Yeah, he's going big, absolutely crazy about that. Did what, Sig? Yeah, yeah. Did you guys see yeah. his... Uh, by the, oh, by the way, he's you on, know what? He's, he's on. on. Hey, yeah. guys, listen. If you he's are not... Here, right? at home, yeah, for the dinner. Yeah. If you are not subscribed to Keith, go to his channel right now. He is so close Get, I think he's really, really close to like, breaking a thousand. Oh, is he really? Yeah. Yeah. Man cave? I believe he's my so. kind of guy because he, and he, just he did, has fun. The dude just did Deanson twenty. I mean, come on, come on. How are you come not on, gonna like man. that? Toast, right? He loved it. it and <laughs> he's a super nice guy. <laughs> yeah, nice guy. looking forward to seeing him. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, that'll be cool. I'm glad he can come to this. So one. here's your uh, horse if you wanted that. Oh, next. I was still talking about the, uh, the, the uh, independent bottlers. So scotch in the news. I don't know. Can everybody see the screen? Yeah. So this uh, this scotch in the news is actually about the horse that you see is named Scotch. Hey, did, you, did you buy scotch a horse? I did. No. Uh, so the owner of this of this, uh, this particular horse is basically ticked off be because Warburn. because uh, his horse drew a really bad draw on the on the gate. You know, so he's way on the outside, but he's probably he would have been favored if he was been on the inside. So he's upset. But I just I read the article and I had to laugh. I'm like, well, the horse is named Scotch. This is Scotch, Scotch in the, the news. news. Yeah, what sure. else can we do here? <laughs> What's his full name? Because <laughs> you know they've always got like a long ass yeah. name, right? It's they not sure just... didn't say that. Scotchity Scotch Scotch. I don't know. Right. Scotch in my belly. But uh, he still he still went <laughs> off at four fifty. I think. Yeah, you can't beat it. That's, it, the race is tomorrow, by the way, if you guys want to tune in on that. <laughs> yeah, that horse it. has two heads. Hey, let's, <laughs> let's pause for a second to catch up on the comments, and then we're going to do okay. the, the new segment. All right. Oh, new segment. I love new so segment. So what's going on with comments? We got, well, who's, who's anybody new on? Before the new segment, let's talk about the dinner. Okay. Are we having a dinner? Something. Dinner? What? All right. Well, I've got uh, the email blast is set to go out to all of the restaurant customers on White Walker. No Monday. Walker. So if you would like to be a part of the dinner, if you want to get your tickets and you have not done so already, I and highly now. recommend you February buy them before, before Monday. February 22nd. Uh, we'll start at 6 o'clock. We are doing a Deanston dinner. Mostly Slash. mostly Deanston dinner. Get a little bit of this. Yeah, you get, you get a couple of those. Um, so it's going to be three course meal. We get uh, a welcome cocktail and five drams of scotch of various Deanston's slash Boonas. Um, and then you get a bottle of Deanston Virgin Oak to take home with you. Uh, leading the dinner is going to be our uh, our buddy Andrew Rayburn. Uh, right before he goes back to Scotland to get the his, next day, get himself back to <laughs> work, uh, making oh, wow. our one of our favorite scotches. Uh, but he's going to walk us through both distilleries. Uh, we've got some awesome food paired up with it. It's going to be a really cool time. We've got quite a few people that already uh, have bought tickets. Some of them are already <laughs> on here. And compared to last whiskey dinner, <laughs> yes, it's going to be good. It, it was super what fun. He stumped these guys now. It's funny. <laughs> I know. Um, you know what though? So like, before we switch into the the next topic of patron using uh, Andrew is a great segue uh -huh. because we actually interviewed Andrew on the couch over on the other side of the, the basement. Yep, before Christmas it was the a, interview couch. I mean, <laughs> it was a good hour and a half, yep, two we hours had, of we had a on. Drank some whiskey. Drank some great whiskeys. He's a fun guy. We ran into him in New York City at the Whiskey Fest, which yeah, was, fun was fun to see him. He was one of us was wearing a kilt. Him. I'm not going to say which one. <laughs> maybe the guy from Scotland, but maybe not. Uh, so we, we've but, got actually three more segments to push from him, by the way. And we done them yet, but, but uh, we're, we're patrons have access to at least one of them right there's now. There's two of them out two there for patrons. There. Two of them for patrons, yeah. which that's the segue. So if you have, if you're a patron. Uh, of us, you can actually see mm. parts part, the parts dinner. of the, the and, dinner. And right. if you are a hardcore Scotch nerd, like that conversation was everything you've ever oh, wanted to do. Oh, amazing! Right? Um, I mean, because he, he he works at the distillery. He knows everything so about it. So that's a guy when we're asking, you know, when Andrew's asking detailed questions, or we're asking, you know, uh, process questions about how they produce it, what goes into the actual making of the Scotch every day. That's the guy to answer your question. I mean, right. he works there. You know, it's a lot different than talking to the ambassador who's like, you know, getting the company line kind of deal. You know what I mean? And even if they go to the distillery, 
And they may know some, but you know the guy that works there every day is moving barrels. That's yeah, the that's the guy you he want knows to. more. I you think know? he started out doing uh, tours at Punahaven. He did. No, yeah. at at Edredor. Edredor is where he Edredor. first started. That's he right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, he yeah, he's he he's been around. I mean, and, and yeah. he's put in his time, paid his dues. Really and, nice guy. And uh, so he's he's the malt man, and it was really cool talking to him. So the dinner should be really fun as well because. I mean, that's a guy that can answer your questions, you yeah. know, and, and give you really in-depth knowledge. So it should be very cool. Yep, for sure. It is going to be a good time. Good food. There's going to be good whiskey. There's going to be good company. I'm sure it, there's going to be as many, if not, I expect more well, of a and, crowd, to be honest with you. And we're not doing a live show this time like we did. No. Nope. And so right. that, but we're going to have more time to kind of socialize. We're planning on socializing and before, after. Yeah, we're getting more fun, you know, more yeah. fun with it, I think. So I, I think that that'll end up being cool. And we're going to try to right. do the, the night before at the hotel, at the hotel and maybe do the, the, this live show there and, and have have drams with y'all who can come out. Oh, that'll be fun. Thursday night. Right. That's, 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 that's going to be honestly, way fun. Honestly, yeah. we want to make that happen because of what Drew and I learned going out to Kansas. Scott with Scott was a great. Right. Yeah. Scotch test dummies. I mean, mentor in that fact. The lobby of the hotel, I mean, there was probably 40 or 50 bottles that just showed up. And I'm yeah. not talking about just 40 or 50. That was great whiskey. It wasn't Johnny out. Black. It wasn't Johnny it was Red. No. <laughs> great whiskeys, great conversation, oh, just yeah. fun. Um, so a we really, on. Oh. We yeah. ought to see if they have a conference room or something that we can. We should talk they to them right now. Yeah. 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 We're, we're, it's that Brownsburg one. we got to call them. Everybody's got a conference room. We can make room something happen. Sometime. I mean, I know a restaurant that we could probably room. use, too, if we needed to. Yeah. I have conference rooms. Yeah. It's yeah. nice to just do it at a hotel when yeah, most of the people are staying. Yeah, we can no have I'm not saying that. Or anything like that. I'm just saying if the hotel has Except a problem. <laughs> yeah. Hold on a second. So, whiskey decisions. Fellas. Great to see. After two years, you finally tried the Buna 18. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It wasn't. It wasn't two, two years. years. Was it really? Uh, it was over it a may, year. I know. It may have been pretty close, but yeah. I mean, the Game of Thrones kind of I tell threw you what, a wrench in the whole thing. Game so of Thrones, we, nothing. Time gets away from us, man. I've got bottles sitting back there. Those Tamdus have been back there so, for six months. This bottle More was a Christmas that. bottle last year, 2017 Christmas. We still haven't reviewed it. <laughs> I'm just saying. Don't it happens. Don't try it. Go. It happens. Hey, yeah, bro, we're gonna, whiskey. Somebody should drink. Time here, Lisa. Lisa Hatcher. Good to see you, Lisa. Hey, Thanks Lisa. for coming on, man. Appreciate you coming by. I can't see anything, <laughs> but I see this whiskey decisions. Oh, Lisa. whiskey decisions. It's gonna come across a second here, but uh, oh man, there it is. Scotch, Scotch, Wheelhouse. Whiskey decisions. Who the eighteen? Who the eighteen? Just finished mine. Thank you, brother. Three point. Thank you, sir. Five-ish? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Love it. Absolutely it love exactly it. Going to buy a bottle of it this All week. All right, fellas, I'm going to try a little bit of this. Mm. Go for it. Too. So going oh, back, okay. um, just one more thing, and then we're going to go into the next segment, Mark, is the Patreon stuff. Patreon, yeah. yeah. We have made some decisions. Uh, I think we finalized them tonight. Um, we are redoing the tiers a little bit. We, the big news is if you're our Patreon, We'll have some communications out for you, but but the goal is by the end of February we're we're going to switch to a from a per creation to a monthly subscription. So it'll make things a lot easier for for you guys and for us. Because yep. math is hard. Math is hard, but more more insights, more things. We've got a lot of things lined up for you guys. Lots of special announcements coming up. Um, but stay tuned for that. That's that's pretty exciting news for us as far as getting that kind of ironed out. Mm -hmm. What's the difference of it? I mean, equate it. Spell well, it out. Well, what, go ahead. So, so right now we charge per video, and typically that's eight well, videos a month. You guys don't. Patreon does. Well, okay, the, way, the way we set it up, yeah. we, we, we bill per video, and we do roughly eight a month, but it can vary uh, back and forth. And with that, there's uncertainty. So you say, I'm, I'm going to be a one uh, tier one subscriber, and it's $1 per video. But what is that going to cost me a month? And it depends on how many videos we put out. And so, so and there's maxing out and doing other things. Yeah. And so, so, so what we're going to do? We're going to set a, a set monthly fee. No matter how many videos we put out, no, no matter how many posts we put out, you know exactly what it's going to cost you per month, and that then that's flat. And and we'll still provide the same amount of content, if not, not more. more right. to be not honest more with you, because, because we're not worried it's about. It's going to be easier for us because then we have yeah. to worry about figuring out do we charge this one or not? Do exactly. We charge more, do we, you it's, know. it's easier it'll, for it'll us. It'll be easier to all the way around. More content, and, right. you, and you know exactly what what the. And you can come behind the scenes on Discord. That's right. And that, that so that's that's a new feature we're adding. 
is levels of Discord access based on your monthly yep. thing. So that that's going to be really We're, we're going to have some Patreon-only audio channels you know, going on. We're going to have some videos. We're going to have all kinds of cool things in Discord. Discord, guys... If you are not a part of it, you need to be part of it. It's blown up. We've got yeah. our Dummy Nation basically is kicking off right Discordians? now. Discordians? Discordians. I like Dummy Nation at this point. It's sticking to me, but uh, <laughs> it's blown up. We, I mean, the conversations are happening there daily, so it's, you're missing out if yeah. you're not on there. So every time I saw... Discord I, nights. So about. every night I, I log on, and I, I guess the, the yeah. update says 50-plus messages since the last time we checked on. Every time I get on... There's more than 50. Oh, there's just 50? There's well, usually that's, that's hundreds. I'm at work. I'm at work, and my phone is just ding, 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 I got it disabled to watch. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, I got to keep on covering it because. <laughs> <laughs> but it's awesome because it's it's people from all over the place that like are just getting together because they like to talk, and, yeah. and it's fun. We talk we all a, the time. People yep. are starting to get together and have their own audio conversations, even without oh, us. I mean, yeah, so it's a really great fun. way to kind of share. Michael Porter was on this week. He was sharing all his cool things. The whole image thing kind of blew up on him. That's kind of cool. It's it's a easy way to quickly communicate. Scott, with you will the group. feel. You will turn to the dark side, Scott. You will come over. Blah oh, blah blah. He says, "I, dude, there's oh, a lot." You'll find of, out. We got I, a lot I said the there. same thing. They do a lot of stuff, so I uh -oh. don't know if they have. Uh oh. Discord is blowing up. Disc for dummies. Discord for dummies. Oh, yeah. it, it's our, it's our higher level yeah, of patrons. Bud and Spud are probably the primary Bud and Spud show. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, which is an awesome show, actually. Yeah, it is really funny. <laughs> uh, somebody wanted to know what's in the test tubes. Uh, is that next? So we got... Uh, got yeah, I got some. What do you think, buddy? That's good. Yeah. Uh, Talisker 8-year 2018 special release. Bottled at 59.4 mm -hmm. ABV. Uh, need to rinse the boonie out of this. Thing. So, so how many of you have had a 59% ABV Talisker? We're out. Is this another one? This yeah. you won't need it with that. It'll it'll, it'll overpower it. Yeah. It's it's for real, man. It's the real thing. So it's it's interesting. So a lot, you know, when I had that supernova. So when, when Sandeep's I, not on though, is he? Mm -hmm. Uh, probably not. Let's smell that. You gonna wait then? No, and not necessarily. Um, Paul wants to know how the patron videos are different from the YouTube videos. Yes, this is the point. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, so the patron, so, so patron really is just a um, means, a, a way. means, and a way to capture a subscription to support us. At the end of the day, when we post a video out there, all we're doing is sharing the content through Patreon. Now, the Patreon does allow us to give you private insights to things. So we do a lot of. Like we talked about earlier with Andrew Rayburn, right? There's a lot of unlisted videos we posted out there that the only way you can see those is through our Patreon. So Patreon, all it is is a window into YouTube, but you can control the privacy via Patreon. So so we put we put videos out that we never released to everybody else. Um, we put out <laughs> videos early so that you get early access to yeah. stuff. Um, we've got no, wow. we've got other things too, like the Discord channel that you can only access if you're a patron member. Uh, so we give yeah, you yeah. more behind the scenes stuff. We're on Discord every day. Every day, like we try to interact with everybody at, yeah. all day long. Really, I, I mean, I'm I'm on there. You're on I'm there on quite there a bit. The um, and a lot of the names that you're seeing uh, scroll down the screen are on there mm -hmm. in some way, shape, or form a fairly good amount of time. Yep. Um, um, so, I mean, there's other channels on there, too, but it's a great way to mark. communicate with people and, and just have a good time, really. I, I really enjoy Discord a lot. It is. You know, so. anybody that's willing to get on there and type a little, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's fun at night. I get on and I talk to, like, Steve and a couple of the other guys. And oh, man. So, the interesting thing for me is I don't type a lot in there, but I do so. follow it. I do read through them. Oh, and, so you're a see, stalker? I am more of a Discord stalker <laughs> than an actual participant. Let I'd Bart say. handle Discord. Yeah, I would say a great, that's, that's a good idea. That's what it looks like. <laughs> that's what we're drinking there. It's, the oh. thing is, it's so light. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, by the oh, way, good, good man. point. As long as he's <laughs> doing voice Discord. <laughs> Patreon also, Bart's got to do voice Discord. Patreon also <laughs> allows us to do lens videos. Which, yes, which are kind of which cool. we do occasionally. Yeah, so that's a different. That's only for Patreon uh, platforms. Basically, it's kind of like a short mm. video 
that lasts for 24 hours, I think? Yeah, I think it's 24 and hours. And then, and then it's, it's gone. gone. So. It's like the Instagram lives and the, um, what do they call those? Yeah, it's Instagram so we, lives. We yeah. do those quite often, not as much as we have, we have lately, but we do those quite often, and we just do like behind the scenes or whatever, and kind of just let you know what's going on. But anyway, That's enough really of nice. Patreon. Yep. Yeah. We get into questions? Question time. All right. Wait, before you go to that, I got a question for you. Uh-huh. Why is this guy upset when we don't have Deanston 20? Because we, it's right there. We have Deanston 20. But if we, don't, if we don't, why does he get upset? Because it's his favorite. Because he is lactose intolerant. <laughs> wow, that was a bad joke. Everybody just wow. logged off. We just we lost. Like, lost. Now we're now we're down we to like lost, five people. Lost twenty patrons right <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah. Lactose intolerant. This wow. guy is. Aren't you? You're upset when you don't have these. How patrons. long did it take you to? <laughs> that was an all like day all deal, all man. What's wrong with you? I don't have to worry about that. Oh, I am so proud Drew? of that joke. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to give me a question. All right. Your next thing is I, my I got a bad Blair taste in my mouth. Obsession. You got to oh, come up with a ball up player up my. All right. So here's the deal. So some questions on the board. Uh, okay. These are questions we've asked about uh, a month ago. We've asked it via Discord and we asked it via our YouTube community channel. We've got probably honestly we've probably got like thirty to fifty questions. I picked five random ones for tonight and I'm gonna read them off and we can go from there. Okay. All right. So Tom R asked via Discord. General question for each of you: If you could be a brand ambassador for a for any whiskey in the world, what brand would it be, and where in the world would you uh, work and why? Mm. Ooh, that a that's question. a that's a deep question, sure man. I know it's for you guys, but everybody knows mine. Man, this is a... where Ooh. for any distillery, not just Scotch. You could you could choose others, right? Yeah, good if you wanted to. Why would you? Why would you? <laughs> What's the point in that? That's tasty. Right. It is tasty. Wow. All right. I, uh, Thank you, Cindy. Wow. This is I would delicious. say if I had to pick a distillery to be an ambassador, I'm picking Port Ellen. It's going to open back up. It's got a. It's oh, going to have a huge annoying. relaunch. You got nothing to sell. It's got a lot of work. You got nothing you to go. sell for eight years. It's going to have a huge matter. relaunch. You can go work at the distillery. Because when but, you retire after 40 but years. But if you're talking about... Being at the ground floor or something, like, it's going to be all new stills. It's going to be a new process there. It's not going to be the same. So you've got a chance to capitalize on the name and make it something new. So I, I would give that a shot. Unless they turn out crappy whiskey, and then I'm going to be sad and have to jump ship. But I, I think that that's So where that's would you live? Start. Where would I live? That's the, Yeah, that's well, part of the question. The, the next, like, two years until they open it up, I'm going to have to live over there and make sure they do things, <laughs> things right. Right? Okay. I mean, you, you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pitch a tent right I next found, to the burned out husk I, of the he, old distillery. He, he found he found a loophole <laughs> around the problem that I have. On the way to the distillery. If I'm going to be a dis, I, I don't know. It's hard. That's a tough question for me because part of me wants to say it's going to be on Isla. That, I mean, like a log of one is what I want to represent because I absolutely love them. But I honestly think that it, I probably would pick like a Glen Goyne or a Glen Dronig. Because of some of the unique stuff they put out, they got some unique opportunities when it comes to single. You just want your comes... teapot dram share. It, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. But I mean, and, and I just absolutely love it. But uh, the problem is, is where am I going to live to to be the ambassador for them? I don't want to live anywhere other than there. I, so, so I really can't be an ambassador if I live yeah. in this Yeah, you kind of trust so, really, Chicago. You know, no. She, I mean, honestly... Access we, to Benny's. I know, but I'd rather live further south. I just want to sell my snowblower. I don't want to have to freaking... You want to <laughs> How much snow have we gotten? Ran it's it colder is, than balls! My, negative 36 degrees means yeah. nothing with no snow. That's true. But you didn't have any snow. It's got uh, freaking well or two. I haven't been out of the house for freaking like yeah. 72 hours. This is the first time I've been out of He's running out of wood. <laughs> I'm, this I'm out of firewood. I just so we anyway. gotta go through this question. So, I got yes. you don't need firewood. Okay. All right, go. So I'm gonna keep mine simple, McAllen, oh, really? because I make a lot of money. <laughs> oh, you oh, sell out! What a sell out! Just for the cash? No, oh, I'm honestly, I mean man. seriously, I mean because they're huge, but um, it'd be decent just because I love everything about decent. Every every bottle they they pay you in twenty years. That's right. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right, buddy. Give me a little bit of a surprise. It's an Isla, but it's not what you'd expect for Glotty. Ooh. 
I was going to say Kilhoman, but the reason I, I like Bruglotti is they've got their new make. Their their basic unpeated is fantastic. It's just this meaty, hearty, awesome scotch. They also do Octomore. They do they do some good things with their mm-hmm. they they have they're almost like a craft distillery in Isla. So they you have this the great guy. range of flavors. They they've got the opportunity to do special caskings, but their new make is so good it doesn't matter. It's all going to be great. It's just going to be great or better than great. And so I think that would be my distillery. Now where I live, I probably live where I am and travel because I mean I can. I Why have a not? nice house. I got a good neighborhood with Scotch for Dummies here. And I'm going to be living next to Port Allen. You can come visit me. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so the key would be I need to make a lot of tra- uh, trips to Scotland for, you know, research. But other- after that, you know, I live here, live where I'm living now. And- Fair enough. Right. Yeah. So Osiris wants to know um, what was your first scotch you ever tried? And then he has more, but we're going to keep going because we're going to run out of time here. All so. Right. Uh, so the first, first scotch or first single malt? Scotch. Scotch was the question. Scotch. All right. Well, I mean, for me, it's the same. Uh, I start, well, I mean, I had had some random scotches here and there, but the first one that I really remember drinking uh, was a Glenfiddich 12. Um, and I had a guy in culinary school who's a few years older than me from Spain, and that was his go to. And so every day before class, we would stop at this pub and we'd get a dram of uh, Glenfiddich, and that was our go to. Before school drink. Before school? <laughs> Holy cow. Well, keep in mind, it's, Great it's school. culinary school, so you would oh, go in at culinary. 4 o'clock. So, so you'd work during the day, go have a dram, and then go to school at night. So mm. there you go. <laughs> Johnny Walker Red Label. You've been really? raised, I actually made it to here. <laughs> I should have turned You're in the minority, ran. buddy. I should have turned and ran then, right? But no, I couldn't get enough. So... Yeah. Well, mine's easy. It's one that kind of started us all off on our journey. Oh, uh, yeah, McAllen. Yeah. That was the first one for me. I'll need to dip in on this question. But go ahead. I think my first one was, it may have been Doers on the Rocks, but it also may have been Johnny Walker Black. So I, I don't remember exactly what the order of those were, but those are my first kind of entry. The Doers, I was, it was in a, you know, just with a, cup, a group of people. So we, we, everybody was drinking it, so I said, sure, I'll have one. But the Johnny Walker Black was the first one that really kind of connected with me. Of course, it is a smoky, smoky scotch. So. Imagine that. Yep. I'll surprise all you guys. This Good is. Oh. No, actually, <laughs> when I turned 21, my parents took me to Vegas. Oh. At the airport, our flights were was canceled, and we got separated. Uh-oh. I got upgraded to first class. Oh, my wow. parents got upgraded to first class on their things. I sat down. The stewardess, is that flight what they were called? Flight attendant, stewardess. It may have been a stewardess. It was a long flight. time ago. It was a long time ago. <clears throat> Came to and said, oh, I don't know, what can I get? And the guy sitting next to me actually said, have you ever been first class before? And I was like, no. nope. He's like, all right. <laughs> 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 looked at the uh, flight attendant and said, he'll take a double Johnny Walker Black. <laughs> could, could you still when smoke on planes then? <laughs> yes, yes. I got to Vegas. We must have hammer. had five glasses. Holy crap. I was hammered by the time I found my parents at the Vegas. <laughs> you at the Vegas Happy airport. birthday. I remember running up to my dad. I'm so effing hammered. <laughs> <laughs> Only I didn't say effing. <laughs> my dad looks at me like, <laughs> so actually, that's my a great story. <laughs> was a Scotch Johnny Walker Black. His first Johnny legal Walker drink. Black. Like, see, Thanks you... to the guy sitting next to me that said, looked at me and said, "You've never flown first class before, have you?" That's I was funny. like, "No." He's like, "He'll have what I'm having, Johnny Walker Black. Keep them coming." Oh I'm like, my gosh, that's hilarious! Oh, it's awesome. right. Next question is for you. Okay. Uh, did you uh, fly a jet when you were in the Air Force? Did I fly a jet in the and Air how Force? How psyched are you for Top Gun Two? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's Please. kind of a trick question, a trick answer, on. honestly. Um, my job, no, I was not a pilot. I was a parachute rigger. I packed parachutes on uh, every kind of parachute, drag chutes, ejection seat chutes, whatever, this, that, and the other. So I was a, a rigger, but I did get a chance to get a, an incentive ride in an F-16 when I was in Saudi Arabia. So 
technically, I did fly an F-16 for about 25 or 30 minutes. The pilot gave me control of the plane. And, uh, and so I, you did fly jets so in the Air Force. So you let him drink the whole time, or you just flew, right? <laughs> Quite honestly, he did his best to try to get me to puke. And when he let me fly, he literally admitted, said, you almost got me to puke. <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's like the Mark shit you were pulling off, I had made no sense, rhyme, or reason. You weren't you're supposed to do things that way. He's like, did you pay attention to anything that I did when I was teaching you? This no. 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 I was trying not to puke. <laughs> Are these missiles so, live? <laughs> so how psyched my phone? I, I didn't tell you this much, but my phone ringtone is the Top Gun theme when you is call it. That's how much you love Top Gun. So. I, love, I just know every, I damn near every line from it. So I'm psyched about it because I, I've got, I've got it played out in my head so how it should be, and I hear it's, it's, it's not going to play out that That's way. But I just, you know. Matter. Oh, yeah. I want to see a big old fat ice man come back into action and have to World climb into some cockpit that he can't fit into. You know he can't fit into Right. In but he can't <laughs> talk. <laughs> Why? He can't talk. Is he really? He cannot talk. See, I don't, I don't know. know how this do is going to pan well, out. I just don't know how they can pull this off. But something anyway, happened. He cannot. It he can better barely, start off with Maverick flying a plane out of Hong Kong full of rubber dog right. shit. <laughs> Uh, next question, real quickly, is uh, from Wheelhouse Whiskey. The other one was, oh, was from Rainmaster, by the way. Thanks, uh, Rainmaster. Wheelhouse Whiskey, did you guys ever notice that the, a whiskey is completely different when you have it outside versus inside? What do you think about that, Andrew? Mr. So Mr. drinking whiskey outside as opposed to inside? Mm-hmm. Do I, I have a cigar? I was never conscious yep. about that. I haven't either, actually. Uh, I've noticed I can that. tell you that day, whiskey outside was awesome. That was fantastic. The so, fishing trips. Yeah. I'm going to take a picture out and show You know what? You're right. You, that, can, you can drink it faster outside. You can totally drink it faster. <laughs> <Totally. laughs> you can. I'm sorry. That, that, because that is, you, you can't can smell it. In here, there's no airflow. So you're... Well, they, I, I would say to your yeah. point, there's a lot more elements outside than there are inside. Yeah. So yeah. You smell different things, and you can... You yeah, and they're a different mindset, too, yeah. right? I mean, yeah. yeah. I can tell you that, Dave. We had a different mindset. Yeah, I mean, it's more relaxed, it's more free. <laughs> really, they're right. fish. So I, I didn't uh, talk about that, but you're right. I, I have not consciously done that, but... All right. Tom Cruise has yeah. to get a boost. And then the next question from S. Steele, uh, what do you guys do for work? All right, let's make it quick, boys. Wow. We, we should make him guess. What, <laughs> what was that question? What do you do for work? <laughs> like nobody knows. Have fire people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, there's I also do that. There you go. Uh, so I am the general manager of a large restaurant here in Indianapolis, and I'm also a trained chef. So I've worked my way up over the years. So mm-hmm. that's what I do for a living. I am an IT project manager for the Department of Veterans Affairs. Parachute packer. Parachute packer. <laughs> He's Parachute. a rigger. <laughs> All right. The, the nickname for my career field in the Air Force was actually Stitch Bitch, so I'll just go ahead and own that right <laughs> now. <laughs> that's going to be your next point, Stitch Bitch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why your not? parachute rigger, you got to have to. Parachute packer. 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 Parachute Biochemical engineer by training, but now doing research and development in pharmaceuticals. So, <laughs> I mean, what? I'm a bit of a nerd, but it's fantastic. But we research. love it. I love research. <laughs> what do you do, Mike? I am a structural engineer at uh, one of the largest utilities in the country. There you go. A structural so, so if an engineer, an engineer, IT, IT project manager, chef IT. slash manager, technical roles mostly. Yeah. We what analyze, else you want to know? That's how we analyze our whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> so if you would like to be, we're actually going to do this on every live going forward if we can, and also on our reviews, we're going to call out one question per the review. If you have a question for us and you would like to be entered into our live show or the review, please go to our Discord. We have a, a question channel there. And also on our YouTube community tab, there's a question. I asked a question there. You can just ask it as well. Or send us an email, Scotch for Dummies at gmail.com and uh, these questions are something we're going to try and start getting more involved with yep. you each week there you go <laughs> so there we go so, that's our X. show for the week we love talking tell to us what do you got going on we said it earlier and we are I, professional I, I whiskey it. drinkers uh, so I'm asking canvas them. repair <laughs> Talex actually might already be gone um, yeah I think he said see you in a little bit he might have hopped off so 
If you guys aren't planning on it, maybe you should. Uh, check out Telex right Flame now. Rank 15 <laughs> batch strength and the Balakin for El Rosso. Ooh, love the well, Balakin. Yeah. Balakin, that's good. Telex is going live here in a minute, so go yep. check out his channel. Um, Rob, Scott, thanks for swinging by. Keith, Malt Man Cave, love, love to have Stitch, you guys big support. Stitch, big stack all makes sense now. <laughs> it does, <laughs> it? Oh, it does. Hey, thanks, my brother. <laughs> Cheers, I own it. I don't care. I'm going to tell you right now, if you're not on Discord, you're missing out. For Bud. All of Bud it. makes Discord happen. Bud and Spud are. <laughs> Have you not muted him? Ball, man. No. no I, okay. Not yet. Uh, anyway, thanks Songs. everybody for tuning in. Um, tune in next week. Hopefully, we are sampling our Scotch casks. Yeah, right. well, looking forward cool. to that, Guys, man. I'm serious. Looking forward to that. It's gonna be yep. amazing. Hopefully, Stealth's got some pretty cool news for us. We're gonna find out next week. Yep. What's going yep. With that. We got a lot of stuff coming Dinner's up. Dinner's so. coming up. Uh, Chicago Get your Fest tickets. Coming up. February 22nd. Yep. yep. Whiskey the, Fest, the, if you can make mail? it, we'd love to see you. What, what's the website for the If you tickets? go to ricksboatyard.com, or it's also on our... It's not Scott. 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 Yep. And there's a tickets a link up there. In you the can, top you right. Can there well. Go in, grab them. I'm telling you right now. Get to the dinner. You're going to miss out if you're not coming. It's yep. going to be really, really cool. Yeah. Really it's a bargain. Cool. The, the last one, even I was Killed blown it. away with, honestly, what you guys did over there. So it was really cool. Yep. There's some big shoes to fill. Cheers. I'm going to have man. Thanks awesome. for stopping by. Good good now. Appreciate good. each and every one of you guys. Thanks. Everybody. Cheers, guys. We'll see you, guys. See you next week. Cheers.